everybody, what the fuck is up? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. So, today, bitch, it has been crazy. I swear these fucking kids, I swear they do it on purpose sometimes because they like to see me like scream and they like to see me like, Rrr. like they think it's funny, like it's comical to them. So I feel like they do it on purpose sometimes. So we're at the grocery store and Sophia, she's always like, mommy, mommy, mommy. But she doesn't spit the fuck out whatever the fuck she's going to say. She's always like, mommy, 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 mommy. So I'm like, okay, what? And she starts over, mommy, mommy, mommy. So I'm like, what the fuck do you want? Like I screamed it out. And she's like, my yard duty's right there. <coughs> Why can't she just say that from the beginning? Why does she have to take her sweet ass time? But man, it's not like I like smacked her in the face or some shit. I was just like, what the fuck do you want? Like, just tell me. Because usually when we go to the grocery store, they want this and they want that and da 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 da. -da. Sophia doesn't, she's like me. She, she knows what she wants, but she doesn't know what it's called. She's like that bread, that brown bread. And I show her the brown bread, but it's like, no, the, oh, you know? But anyway, she's a fucking kid. I'm a fucking adult. We all make mistakes. But anyways, today, motherfuckers, we are going to make some picaditas. They're like sopes, or I don't know if, that's, if it's the same thing, but my mom always made sopes, and my mother-in-law, she made picaditas, and she told me that the original picaditas, where, where she's from the city of Mexico, is just masa, the tortilla, the masa, and the salsa. Like, the focus is on the salsa, and cheese, it doesn't have meat or anything. So, bitch, if the focus is gonna be on the motherfucking salsa, you know what the fuck that means. That means it's gonna be some bomb ski ski salsa. We can't have no motherfucking whatever salsa that's gonna be the D salsa. So, she made this shit like 10 years ago, and I was weird because it didn't have beans, it didn't have meat, and I was like, what is this? You know? But when I tasted it, I was like, yes. And my favorite one was the red one. So I'm gonna make a red one, red salsa, and a green salsa. So for this motherfucker, I'm using six pounds of masa. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of it, but even if I don't use all of it, I just use my masa and some other shit. I'm gonna use tomatillos, green tomatoes. I'm gonna use some tomates, Roma tomates. A lot of cilantro. I got a lot, it was like three for a dollar. Chile serrano. Serrano. These look and smell oh these are gonna be hot when they have that smelly smell smell like like it smells like chile you know it's about to go down i'm using a pound of chile fresco chile fresco queso fresco i was trying to listen to mandy with she's always doing that este so yeah a pound of queso fresco and right here we have what is it pig lard oak lard manteca de puerco so yeah, you guys I remember growing up, I would always put my finger in here, poke it. And I didn't even know what it was, but it was fun. But anyways, let's get this motherfucker started. I'm gonna start doing the salsas first, peeling the tom tomatillos, and we'll do that, bitch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I'm just gonna peel these motherfuckers like so, and then just wash them, and boom, throw them in the water. Este, I know I've been telling you guys, I'm gonna show you guys where I got my comales. But I, we went the other day so I could record and they were about to close. When you go to the swamp meet, you're supposed to go early. And we, it was like like three, but it was really windy. So I feel like that's what made it like people want to go home faster because it was windy and ugly. And yeah, but I'm, I'm going to make a video in the swamp meet. In the swamp meet meet where we all meet meet. Yes. So yeah, it's like... Not that hard to peel these motherfuckers. I don't know why these have skin. This and the regular tomates, the red tomates, they don't have anything to protect them. I don't know. Just, you know, something something to think about, bitch. So I put the motherfuckers in there. And now, over here, we're gonna make our salsa roja. I got two, four, six, seven tomatoes. I got like, how many? Eight chiles guajillos and some chiles de árbol. Also gonna use two garlic cloves for that salsa. And for that one, when it starts boiling, I'm gonna throw seven of these motherfuckers in there. So they can start getting remixed in the remix mix. I forgot to tell you motherfuckers, since we're not using any meat on this bitch, it's very important, the salsa, the cilantro, 
and the cebolla. Like, them motherfuckers have to be there. Like, like in the front. Like, those are the flavors. Sophia's having a whole conversation about her brother's birthday. Because it's baby Mario's birthday tomorrow. And Mandy, she swears that you can't tell when she's pass passing by with her big ass. Like, she's like 300 pounds. Pinche vieja cagona. I don't know why these have this. I just take it off. I think they were trying to grow in there some shit. So yeah, let's do this. She loves guajillos. I am gonna take off the seeds just because. So this is gonna be a salsa. You don't want the fucking seeds in your salsa. Because then when you take a shit, the seeds are gonna come out and that's not a good picture. Also, I heard it's bad for your gallbladder. And I have gallbladder stones. I don't know if I still have them, but I get little pains here and there. And it sucks, it hurts so fucking much. And then, like, yesterday, I was dying, bro. I had my I had my period, right? And um, I know that I know it's TMI, but that's just how I am. I went to the fucking bathroom, and I was getting my little pain, the one that I get for the gallbladder. And then I'm like on my period, so I have that pain too. And then I got choro, like not for like a long time, just for like a little bit, for like five minutes. And I was telling my I come out, and I'm like, man, man, man. Today was the day I had chorro, I had period, and I had that little pain. It was like three motherfuckers attacking me, like pancita. And Mario was just staring at me like, pobrecita. But if I would have told him that before, like when we barely got together, he would have been like, ill. Did you know that he never saw a girl throwing a loogie before? He never heard a girl fart? I don't know what type of girls he was going out with. Well, I, I do know he was going out with like bougie girls. I mean, I'm bougie too, but <laughs> not really. Este, so his first time he heard somebody fart, a female fart was with me. And then I remember one time we were walking, I think it was to ride it or some shit. And I was like, <gasps> like I spit it like, woo. Pew. And he's like, did he just throw a loogie? And I was like, yeah. He's like, that's nasty. I've never seen a girl do that. I'm like, well, I'm not your typical girl. I'm the girl that you're going to marry, bitch. So anyways, oh, I've been noticing a lot of pretty ass females, man, on my Facebook. I, I, I know they're from YouTube because I've seen some of them have the same kind of name. And I'm like, damn, bitch, look at you guys with your lives. Um, I, I can't name them right now because I forgot their names. I see you guys with your families, with your girlfriends and she Like, what? Like, look at all cute. And I'm like, these bitches like me. They like little old me. I'm just like, wow. It's just cool to see motherfuckers, you know, real bitches. To boil, I'm just gonna throw the motherfuckers in there like so and turn it off. That's it. With the heat, it's gonna finish off. I'm gonna get my salsa roja ready. Ready, Freddy. Yeah, I'm gonna try you those chiles. The chile goes down, money down. Oh my god, my comal is not that big, this one, but I like it because it's thick. And I just want it to cook, cook slowly. Almost like you say cast iron, iron cast, some bullshit. I don't fucking know. Ahí está. Chiles. We got three, no, two types of chiles. And we're going to put some onion también. Para que agarre sabor. And maybe Mario's over here stabbing the damn. What are you stabbing? The pork? The lard? <laughs> some things don't change, bitch. Okay, let me get a piece of onion. A little piece of onion up in this piece. Ooh, ooh, bitch, it's starting to smell good up in this hole. But don't let them burn. We don't want no burnt chili. We want some flavorful shit. Mommy. ¿Qué pasó, papa? As soon as the chili start get cooked, take them out. Porque si no, they're going to get burnt, and then they're not going to be good. It's not going to be as flavorful. And then the salsa is going to be all black and shit. I mean, a little black is okay, but there's a difference between black and burnt. You know what I'm saying? And they're pretty much ready. I like them like that. They got a little stuck in the bottom, but it's okay. It's okay and it's all right, cause I don't know what the fuck to say. Little remix right here. I'm gonna add a cup of water so they can start getting wiggly or softer. Oh, I don't know. And I'm gonna put the tomatoes on top so it pushes them down so they can get all sexy and shit. 
I just love the fucking colors of Mexican food, bruh. Like, seriously, lo más bonito del mundo. Like, that's how you know your girl loves to cook. I, like, get inspired just by the fucking watching the fucking colors, bruh. Like, estoy bien loca yo. No estoy tan loca como Mandy. Esa vieja está pero bien zafada. Y tú también. Oh, my God. Ahí está, estoy chingándote. <laughs> Mira que chulada. Look, look, look how pretty it looks. Just with that shit, I could make a video like showing you guys like, ooh, 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 ooh. But anyways, we're gonna put this bitch on the side and cut our stuff that we need. You can see my little ass tits, right? You can't even, I don't even have tits, but I, I wanna show you guys how rich this tit is. Sophia, how much money do you guys think I have in my left tit? 50. Well, you guys have to say different numbers. Okay, um, 50. 40. How much do you guys think? A ver, a ver, a ver. 20. 50. No, ya perdieron. 50. 54 dollars. Oh, I win. <laughs> you win. You win a dollar. A un dollar y un dollar por un chicle. Te va a hacer de comer, so that's free. I always put it there and sometimes I forget. And then Mario's over here trying to grab my boob and then he feels the money. And then he's like, um, who's that for? Where do you get it from? And I'm like, bitch, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna cut our onion porque ya se está haciendo tarde and your, these little girls wanna eat. ¿Qué te iba a decir? Este, the onion, make sure just to cut it like in little squares or whatever. Doesn't matter how you... Just do it however you can, but this is how I do it. You guys see me do, do this like so many times, so many times. ¿Qué estás muy cansado de hacer desmadre, verdad, putito? ¿Qué pasó, güey? Oh my God, ¿qué no ves que estoy aquí? Sofía, can you clean baby Mario's little baby knife? What? Can you clean your brother's little baby knife? I think he's doing it himself. Never mind. Okay. He's independent. He's an independent little baby. Ahí está. So yeah. So I'm gonna do that and that and that. It's the motherfucking onion. Also, Mandy's helping me cut up the cilantro. She takes like 20 minutes, but it's okay because at least she tries. <laughs> so this is the last of the mac and cheese that I made the other day. And let me tell you, bitch, it was so good. Mmm. And I did what I always do. The only thing that I did differently was when the pasta was ready, um, you know how it's hot and shit? I put like uh, two tablespoons of um, daisy sour cream and I also put butter. And it just made a whole big difference. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Mm. So now I'm gonna fuck with the masa. So this masa is a little kind of, kind of dry, kind of sad. It needs some loving. Este, so I'm put a little bit of water because I don't want it to be like, ¿cómo se dice? Too slimy or too soft. I want it kind of hard, but this bitch is too hard. So I'm just gonna add like, like a hand, like this much. And that, even though it's a little bit, it makes a big difference. So just work with it. What happened, Sofia? What do you need, Sofia? La tortilla. Did you tell them um, tomorrow's baby Mario's birthday? Oh, yeah, I did tell them. I told them that tomorrow's baby Mario's birthday and Sofia's planning. She's going to throw him a party. No. <laughs> but Sofia's like a big planner. She's always wanting, wanting to plan stuff. Other hands. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Mario, leave my tomates alone. Yeah. ¿Qué te hacen mis tomates? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Help me cut my tomatoes then. Haz tu pinche desmadre. My mom would fucking shoot me if she saw me doing this. Playing with the food. Or letting my kids play with the food. Ahí está. Yeah, that looks good. So what I did, I got a plastic thing. Like a little plastic bag and I cut it up with scissors. I already made two of these motherfuckers. So you can make them big. I guess the original ones are big, but I don't want mine to be too big. So I'm making my medium. So a little bolita like this. 
and then you just go like that put them in the plastic thingy like so cover your masa because then it gets dried up and you don't really want that shit and we're just gonna tap 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 until you make it flat it's really easy easy peasy mac and cheesy give me the chiles just make it flat the thing about this bitch is that you want it to be not too thick because you want it to be flavorful if you know what i mean jelly baby the comal now oh, it's okay see how that one came out pretty much it'll be ready like in a minute this one i don't know i think because i flipped it too many times but look just press it down it's all good in the neighborhood it's all good in the neighborhood and we're gonna go like this with our fingers this is a part where i always would stare at my mom like how do you make that magic i thought it was so hot because every time when i was there i would try to do it myself but it was way too hot doing this i'm gonna make the salsa up in this bitch Ooh. for the salsa verde i just put cilantro the tomatillos garlic and what else no water in there because the tomatillo already has like juicy stuff in there so that's all we need also when i put it in the blender don't blend it too much because we want it kind of kind of thick i'm gonna add some salt one tablespoon maybe two Verde. Look at that bitch looking so sexy. So, for the salsa roja, everything's in there already the onion, the garlic, one tablespoon of salt, and a cup of water. Bitch. Remix that one. So we got our salsa verde and our salsa roja. Look at that bitch. Look at that bitch looking at you. Like, are you gonna come and get this? Or you want me to go to you, daddy? Ooh! already and i'm gonna make more it's just that i want to do this already so the um the lard i put in the microwave for 30 seconds so it could get like you know loosey pussy and we're gonna throw them bitches in here let me get my cheese too okay. so the queso fresco all i did was go like this so it could be ready so when i put it up in that bitch up in that bitch up in that hole so yeah all I do is put the little lard in there. Not a lot, lot, but enough, enough. You know what I mean? So you're going to want some, Sofia? Or you don't know yet? I don't know yet. Girl, this is what I made to eat. We better eat, eat. You better get your ass beat, beat. Probably not. I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Mamoncita, ¿verdad? ¿Me saliste? I'm gonna flip them, you know what? Because, yeah, I want them to cook from both sides. So, yeah. Flip them a little bit if you want to. This is optional. You don't have to do this part. But I just want to cook from both sides. Hey, motherfuckers. So, you guys could choose whatever you guys want. If you guys want green, you could use green. If you want red, you could use red. I know it's kind of weird because it's not take, it doesn't have um, meat or whatever. Pero así son estas picaditas. And then, the quesito. Ooh. Mandy's mad at me. She's giving me the silent treatment. Because I'm a bitch. Dijo. Just because I didn't like how she cut her cilantro. And I'm sorry. I know. It's because I'm very weird. I'm very picky. I'm sorry. Sorry for my stupid words that I say. Sometimes I could be really mean. It's because before we always talk talk to her all kinds of ways and she wouldn't get offended and now then she turned a teenager. I have to like choose my words. It's because I told her that the cilantro she cut it too big. But whatever. I, I still I'm still using it. It's not like I'm like, oh, I was doing myself and I just told her then she got mad. But it wasn't like I wasn't trying to be mean. Oh my god, these damn teenagers. So that's how it looks. Ooh. Motherfuckers, so we are ready. I'm just gonna eat one. I decided to put half of the green salsa and half of the red salsa. Um, taste your salsas. Sometimes when you don't put enough salt on that motherfucker, it's not gonna be as good. Sometimes I, might, I get pissed off because I go to like a taco place and everything's fire. And then I'm about to eat the salsa and the salsa's missing a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. And I'm like, 
I wish I could just tell them, but sometimes when people cook, they don't want to hear nothing. They don't want to hear, oh, you need this or you need that. I take it. I see in the comments sometimes people telling me, oh, you know what, you should do this. You should do that. Because sometimes I fuck, I fuck up, you know what I'm saying? I'm not Miss the main cooking bitch in the world. I'm like the fifth one, you know, just kidding. So, yeah, could fold it like a taco. Like so. And just, you know. Mm. The masa, I love masa. It's so good. It doesn't even need meat. It's not my ass. I'm always eating meat. Um, some girl on Instagram, Alexis, she told me, you're always eating meat one time when she was eating and me. me. And she's like, I know you and your meat, you always, and she's a vegan, not a vegetarian. I'm sorry, Alexis, if I forgot. But yeah, you guys should try this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I never bring a napkin. I'm gonna put extra cheese up in this bitch though. Mm -hmm. But anyways, motherfuckers, I hope you guys had a good ass motherfucking new year. I hope this is your motherfucking year. You know what I'm saying? Don't get on. We are trying to make all these goals and shit. Do what you gotta do at the time that you do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't force anything. Don't be like, oh, I have to get married this year. No, you're gonna get married when that motherfucker walks in. And you look at him or you look at her and you're like, damn, baby, I want you to be the mama to my children. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said when I saw Mariam. I'm going to marry this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But anyways, to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace and love.